Hello everyone, I am back, another watch video, you know, because I was hunting again, hunting out for this blue beast. I mean, it just happened, my mate gave me a call, he said, come on dude, come down, let's see what happens, maybe we're gonna get it, maybe not. And I was thinking, you know what, it's been like 5-6 months since I was really, really disappointed, and who else than Swatch? I mean, who else can really mess your day about? Uh, really piss you off, really grind your gears, you know? And I thought, you know, it's been five months since some really big disappointment. And you know what? Swatch, mission to eBay, they never fail to the disappoint, guys. And what can I say? What experience it was. It was great. It was first class, guys. So let's dive all into it. So yeah guys, I'm here right now, not too bad, three stops, I'm the Battersea Power Station, um, I'm speaking with my mate, and my mate's like, you know what, it's not too bad, it's not too bad, he's like, yeah, there's some people, but I would say there's about 250 people, it's about 7.20 in the morning, I'm like, cool, cool, I'm gonna be there, and, uh, well, the first surprise is, he was actually right, this time, there was not that many people, which was surprisingly, and it kind of gave me hope, it kind of gave me hope in the start, but then again, um, everything else, everything gonna be revealed down the line, guys, so keep on watching. So, as you see, not that many people, once I get there, um, there's a bit more, so there's like a single line, that's about maybe 45 more people, down to the green bench, but it's a single line. Okay, cool. So I'm, I'm, I'll just get there. I literally walk all there. I'm standing next to the green bench. Security comes over. They put the security guard down. They say, you know what? If anyone else comes here, just tell them most likely, guys, you're not going to get the watches. Uh, that's about it. And I was like, I, um, you know, sounds good. But last time when they said something like that, I was left behind. But I'm chill because my mate, he's all up front. And if he's winning, I'm winning, I'm happy for him, right? So at least he's gonna get the watch because he's like maybe 100 in the line. But you know what? It's not that easy. Let's keep going. So yeah, guys, up front we have Roadman. Classical, North Face jackets, all black, white logos. Holding the line, making sure no one passes them. They've been there for like about 10 hours since previous evening, holding it. Some would say these guys don't work, but you know what? This week they will gonna get paid even twice because of September the 1st. They're getting the job seekers. But wait! There's more! So yeah guys, there were a few rumors going around from people who have like inside knowledge, they know someone who was working in the shop, and one of them was like, there's a, another line inside, a private line with certain people who maybe know security or something like that, about 100 people inside waiting next to the store. Again, it's a rumor, so I didn't trust it. But, yeah. So yeah guys, like, 10 to 9, um, people from the shop comes out, representatives come out, and they're like, uh, then there's not enough watches, right? And they tell the people, you're not gonna get them. And they go down to the first line, uh, at the railings, and they tell these people, you're not gonna get watches, because there's not enough, but you can get, like, the regular ones, okay? So, Moonshine Are Gold, the Neptune is gone, but you can get regular ones. Lots of people leave, okay, so they let people inside. And straight away, there's about four or five minutes later, a few people come out, and you're like, oh, okay, cool. But these people, they do not interact with the people who are standing outside. They just leave, and they're not roadmen. And then I was like, well, that's weird, because only people who enter were roadmen, right? And then about 10, 15 minutes past nine, security got informed that they told us, uh, yeah, 48 watches have been sold. There are no more watches. We are all out of the watches. So what I understand, no one in this picture actually get... Uh, the Neptune, no, none of them, none of these people, even those who are waiting for 15 hours, because the rumor was true, there was another secret line inside the store with the people waiting for the watches, this one was literally like a public line, okay, and you're gonna see in the video farther down, the people next to the store, they already are being put in the groups, so after this, everyone tried to rush through the door, security told them no, then they went around, and as you're going to the shop, you're gonna see, see, at the side, this is literally, I run up, I was maybe the middle part with the people who run up the stairs to get there, but as you see in the left side, people already have been put like in a, in a groups of, of 50 or maybe 100 or something like that, so they're already there, 
And that was the rumor before, right? That there's a secret line of people who are going to get the watches who kind of know the security or they're related to someone in the store and stuff like that. That's literally what I heard from a certain person. And honestly, everything he said was right. And, and he even said there's only like, like 100 or whatever watches. That's about it. So this was very dirty, man. Like, honestly, this is so silly. And there's about 250 people. So I thought, you know, there's no point of waiting. So yeah guys, I wanted to combine some comments from across the world so you can see it. This is not just a London thing, this is happening everywhere. Uh, what people are saying, this is just absolute, you know, nonsense. I don't want to swear and stuff like that. But yeah, this is like just playing very dirty. And you can see even less and less people are going there. Like in Malaysia, they just closed the store. Uh, again, I haven't been there, but that's what the guy says in the comments. In another comment, you're going to see down the line... The guy says he was like a first in the line and there's some people they just pushed in there and with the force and they just pushed everyone else out and then they end up being first and I don't think he got the watch. And another person says resellers win, at least not in London because no one get the watches in London. And again guys, no one who was waiting there got their watches. And Swatch is keeping down the quantity of the Neptune watches very low. And this watch is produced exactly the same as any other watch in their range it's just in blue color so um, i'm sorry but don't tell me it's so much harder to produce a blue watch than a gray watch than a red watch um they're quite similar i mean besides the small futures on them nothing really changes uh and anyways how i see that the swatch the moonshine phase the moon watch, I think it's kind of coming to pass, because end of day, this is a watch which costs around two, 228 pounds, which is, which is quite a lot for just a basic watch, plastic watch, and uh, the real selling point is literally, as it says, Omega. The real selling point of, of them is there's not enough of them, and why there's not enough of them? Well, because they're not being produced, and because scalpers are buying them. So, from one side, I'm quite actually happy because none of the scalpers actually get the watch. Which kind of, I was like, I already was accepting that I didn't get one. And I was like, cool. But as scalpers didn't get the watches, I was like, you wasted those 15 hours for no reason. I only wasted three. <laughs> so yeah, end of it. I went to Oxford Street. I picked up one of, one of them for myself. So you can see it. I mean, it's kind of the second place, um, you know, second place trophy. Um, but yeah, it is what it is. I still haven't got <laughs> the moon watch. I just wanted a basic gray moon watch. I've been in the store at least 25 times. I still haven't even picked up one. Um, <laughs> so yeah, personally, I think this brand is kind of top, uh, toppling over at this moment because there were so few people. And I think it's just going to get worse and worse. I think on the next release, there are going to be less people than this. Because people are just fed up and they are not putting up with this kind of nonsense. So, um, yeah. And even if you are there, the chance you're going to get it, even if you're on the time, is low. So, I mean, these are, these are my two takes. I'm happy that I get the watch. But will I going to go for something like that in the future? Not really. Will I going to buy a watch from second hand for like a thousand pounds no it's a plastic watch you can get a really really good uh watch for a thousand pounds so honestly there is no reason for you for or for anyone to go out of the base price and to pay extra for a second hand watch maybe just maybe if you are finishing your collect collection and you have like all of them i'll, I'll assume that's one of the reasons but yeah <laughs> i wouldn't do it I wouldn't do it. So anyway, guys, uh, leave your thoughts below. What you think? Will the Swatch uh, gonna continue their moon release? Will they gonna go up in the price or down? Because as you see, the prices are not that high. You know, you saw in the pictures, the prices are not that high. People are not buying them online. I think they're kind of done. People are fed up and the brand is just toppling over. That's just my opinion. Leave your opinion below. And uh, let's make conversation and have a good one. Mr. Zas out.